Hey everybody, just a quick video on graphing in standard form in case you still need a little bit of help. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify A, B, and C, kind of like we did for the quadratic formula, A equals one, B equals negative six, and C equals three. I always start these problems by remembering that C is my y-intercept. So for this one, I will plot zero, three. And then I'll remember that my axis of symmetry is opposite of B over 2A, which in this problem is positive 6 over 2, or 3. So I will plot the line X equals 3. At this point, if you want to, you can plot the mirror point from the Y-intercept, which would be 6 comma 3. Now, I know that my vertex is three comma something. So to find that, I am going to plug three into my equation. So when I plug three into my equation, I get nine minus 18 plus three which is negative six. So that is my vertex. I know this opens upwards because A is positive. I don't know my x-intercepts yet. I'll worry about that in just a second. My minimum value is the lowest value I have, which is negative six. So I'm going to use the 1357 rule to graph. You could also make a table using the x values 3, 4, 5, and 6. So over 1, up 1 off the vertex, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, that's good. That point I'd already plotted is still there. So there's my graph. Did pretty well on my mirror points here. Make sure you go and fill those in. Now for my x-intercepts, I know I'm going to have three plus or minus something as my x-intercepts. That's the three from the axis of symmetry, and then the plus or minus is just the difference. I know that my x-intercepts have to be between one and two and be between five and six. So I plug those into the quadratic formula and I get the uh, answers. So 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 4 times 1 times 3 all over 2a, which is 6 plus or minus root 24 all over 2, or 6 plus or minus two root six over two, or three plus or minus the square root of six. All right, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.